The TARDIS Gamer, and once again, I'm going to, to do another review. It's Fallout 4. So let's review Fallout 4 this whole time. It kept me staring. It kept me eye-watching. It just kept me doing this over and over and over again. I'm 2016, I created a channel called Geekish Gamer Show. It's my first ever YouTube channel I ever made. There's something else you guys should know. Back in 2016, me and my mom were in poverty. Not only did I have to starve sometimes, but also, as well, I stunk. We had to choose between electric and gas, and my mom chose the electric, so kids would make fun of me in school because I stunk. It was the most embarrassing moment in my life. One of the most embarrassing times in my life. But there was something I would keep doing all the time. I would keep making YouTube videos. I wouldn't get my first job till 2017, a year later, at Wendy's. By the way now, guys, Wendy's is now closed. <laughs> you Wendy's. Worst job I ever had in my life. Yes, I would sometimes go hungry, but creating YouTube videos was my portal away from poverty. Sometimes I would script, produce, make videos, and forget about hunger, honestly. And so I just keep making them and making them and making them and making them. So I would then attend Horizon Science Academy back in 2019, where I would have a GPA of 1.5. See, I hated school, but I love politics. So I would eventually go to Columbus State Community College, where I would go ahead and study for 120 hours in real estate. I would also go ahead and quit political science. Nonetheless, at the end of the day, I went ahead and failed that test four times. After failing those exams four times, I would go ahead to take one of the biggest risks I've ever taken in my life. In January 2023, I took that risk and started a small media company called 532 Media. Basically, the business name was a callback to where I grew up, trying to show that even in poverty, you can come out and still make your dream. You just have to be willing to wake up from that dream and create a reality, even if that vision has failed many times. I do a lot as a one-man business operating in the tech and lifestyle sector. Uh, there's a lot of competition, so I'm constantly revising formulas to make the best possible videos for what I have. The company's main flagship model for distribution of content is YouTube. So throughout the week, I plan, script, produce, and even edit the videos for them to be released on Sunday. A very big part of our brand is keeping an audience. So another subset of the company is posting relatable, entertaining, and educational content on Instagram and TikTok. Currently, I'm working on a website right now to help out real estate agents in the greater Ohio area with photography, videography, and SEO to help maximize the best profits for their business. So I would probably say that a lot of our income streams or revenue streams this year will be coming specifically from affiliate marketing, AdSense, lastly, probably the real estate photography sector of our company. But I am hoping to add a real estate to that portfolio um, later on next year and make some investments when it comes to that. So I edit and shoot every single video of my iPhone 13 Pro. I like the iPhone 13 Pro. I think it is a great great addition to the set of iPhones that are out there. I like using the phone more than I like using the computer because of the versatility. But sometimes when things do get a little heavy, I like to go ahead and use my all in one HP computer over there with my second monitor. Ladies and gentlemen, earlier, I put a quote up on your screens. Okay, I want you to start thinking about that. Okay, you, you saw that quote, I know you did. Go back to it, see it again, look at it, stare at it. Try to find out what that means to you. I put that there to show you guys that not all work in your life is created equal. You will not have the same result using 100% of your energy to cut down the tree as if you were to spend 50% sharpening your ax and 50% of your energy chopping the tree. Sharpening adds efficiency to cutting. But in your own daily life, you need to know when to sharpen and when to cut. You need to know as a person when to say, hmm, I need to sharpen my skills. And then you need to know when to say, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do this now. I might not do it perfectly, but I'm not gonna sit around waiting for some magic moment that will probably never come. This is a very, very big reason why I started this company. I felt personally I need to do everything, political science, real estate. I needed to have some type of income somewhere to funnel money into this company and just start it. But what I never noticed was that all you have to do is just start. I'm worrying about starting a company or how am I gonna start it? We'll just start it. Our days are numbered and it would be a tragedy to run out of them before we finish chopping down that tree.